Put your hands together and give a warm welcome to Rolla's own Stop Making Sense. been to an improv show and know what's going on. <laughs> and uh, by a round of applause, how many of you have not? Okay. And you there, sir. Hi. I saw you were, you were applauding for not. Uh, what's your name? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Pardon me? Dan. Dan. Everybody say hi, Dan. What's up, Dan? Hey. So, uh, Dan, what do you do, do with your life? Raise kids. <laughs> Very nice. So Dan, you don't know what we're all about here. You've never been to an improv show. No, and no. you're Okay, so um, what we do is we make everything up on the spot. We've got no idea what we're gonna do next. There's no script. Uh, you know, we're gonna get suggestions from you guys, so if you don't like the show, it's pretty much your fault. <laughs> yeah. uh, Dan, if I were to ask you, what's your favorite day of the week, you would say, Saturday, thank you very much. And so we would then take the suggestion of Saturday and turn that into a skit, a song, whatever it is that we're going to do. Now, uh, I need to let everybody know that this is a family-friendly show. So as we're asking for suggestions, uh, we're, we're hoping that you'll keep it family-friendly. If anybody on the stage here slips and says something that's not quite family-friendly, uh, I will go over and I will give them such a good old Dutch rug like you've never seen. Uh, if any of you say anything that's not family friendly tonight, we're all going to come down and give you a Dutch rug. So. Yeah, please don't. If your cell phones are on, you might want to put them on silent. Because uh, if they ring in the middle of the show, we're liable to come down and answer them for you. And you probably don't want that. It's not going to be pretty. First thing we're going to do for you tonight is call the Conducted Story. And uh, in that, we will be making up a story. First time, last time, only time it has ever been performed. And I will be pointing to each of the players in turn. And as I point to them, they will be telling the story. And when I move my hand, the story will move with my hand in mid-sentence, mid-thought, mid-fragment, whatever. And hopefully seamlessly continue on <laughs> to a goodness, wonderlessness, wondrousness. Yeah, it's going to be good. Seamless. Uh, what's that? Seamless. Seamless, yes, yeah, seamless. Uh, so, tonight I need to get a couple of suggestions here. Hi, what's your name? Marquia. Pardon me? Marquia. Marquia, hi. Everybody say, yo, Marquia. Yo, yo Marquia. Marquia. How are you tonight? Hello. I'm fine. Good, good. So, what is your favorite kind of story? Uh, a comedy. A comedy. Well, we hope everything we're going to do tonight is funny. Uh, do you have another, like, maybe second favorite? <laughs> Romance. Romance. Okay, thank you very much. Romance. And, uh... So yeah, you, you, you're cutting your eyes back there. Can you give me the name of a romance story that has never been written, spoken, thought of, conceived, ever before? No. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, for the first, last, and only time, the Stop Making Sense Improv will perform the romance story entitled, No. <laughs> Just sitting there. The bedroom was covered with candles in every little crevice that it could possibly have. The shades were all pulled. It was a beautiful setting for a beautiful night of romance. But there was one thing missing in this room. The thing that was missing was the guy. 
There was no guy in the room. <laughs> there was a lovely lady, and she had the candles all lit, and it was so happy, and it smelled great and wonderful, but no guy. So she decided she was going to find a way to figure out how to get the guy in the room. So she decided to pick up her cell phone and text him really fast because she was very desperate. <laughs> <laughs> so she was texting, she's looking at it, she's like, I need a guy to experience this romantic evening with her and all the lights. <laughs> <laughs> so she closed the phone because she was waiting on a response. response from her proposed lover, but it wasn't coming. Her phone wasn't working. And so she decided to say, Hey, Frank, I'm in here with the candles on. What are you waiting for? Because I can't wait any long <laughs> longer. <laughs> and he said, the game is on, so I'm not coming in the room. She wasn't very happy about this. So she said, Hey, Frank, I'm going to... I'm going to tell your mom that you are not coming to the bedroom with me. <laughs> and she's not going to like what you say. <laughs> so she decided to get out of the bed. She marched downstairs and she went. Oh, she was hot. <laughs> she wanted to the room in the room. <laughs> so she went to the TV and she unplugged the TV. And then after she unplugged the TV, she tied knots in it so it would be uh, he wouldn't be able to get any signal whatsoever. <laughs> and he just looked up at her and said, Honey, it's the most important game of the season. What are you doing? Game. <laughs> I just want to help a good night with a guy like the NFL analyst. <laughs> you don't understand. He's my favorite analyst and I can't miss this opportunity to see him in live game store, <laughs> something like that. Anyway, so <laughs> he got up and he started walking up her with, up with to the stairs and she, and she said, here, walk this way. Oh, look, there's roses on the bed and the pillow and the floor. And he went, oh, I got it. Got a cramp. <laughs> it's OK. I'll be all right. I'll just be there in just a minute, hon. I'll find my way with, with dragging my hands and legs up the, the stairs until I finally get there. Actually, he pulled out his phone and started checking the game messages right there. <laughs> and she looked at him and said, No! Tonight, we've got uh, Paul Frisbee, Dirk Frisbee, Adrian Davy, Cornell Lakers, and then I'm your host, John Arado. <laughs> For our next game, we're going to do something we call Scenes from the Board, and uh, it's over there. The board. Paul's going to get the board. Paul has a great skill that he's going to demonstrate. He's going to take the dry erase marker, and using only two vertical lines, he's going to subdivide that board into three sections. Oh! Whoa! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Okay, and so folks over in this part of the theater tonight, uh, I need to know things that you might find at a flea market. Toasters. Toasters, thank you. Afghans. Pardon me? Afghans. Afghans, thank you. What? Fur coats. <laughs> Fur coats. Socks. Mirrors. Socks, mirrors, bric-a-brac. What was that? Pottery. Okay, where? What was it? Diamonds. Diamonds. Oh. <laughs> All right, need a, need a couple more things you might find at a flea market. A, a what? Barber shop pole. Barber pole. Okay. A couple, two more things. Magnum What was that? Thank you very much. Okay, and so here in the center, 
or wherever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Things that you might find in your grandmother's kitchen. Cups. What was that? Cups. Cups. Prune juice. Prune juice. <laughs> you and I had the same grandmother, didn't we? I heard something. An apron. Okay, an apron. Pardon me? Cookie jar. Cookie jar. Cookie what was that? Cookie cutters? Rolling. Oh, okay. Butter churn. Butter churn. What else makes you find your grandmother's kitchen? What? Cast iron skillet. Cast iron skillet? Wood smolling pin. What was over here? Wood smolling pin. Wooden rolling pin? String. String? A big spoon. A big spoon. <laughs> for everything. Yeah, for everything. <laughs> When I was a kid, that's what I used to get whacked with. It was a wooden spoon. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what else will you find in your grandmother's kitchen? Tupperware. Tupperware. Fly swatter. Fly swatter. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. And then I need suggestions of emotions that you might feel during the day remembering a family friendly show. Emotions you might feel during the day. Anger. Anger. Joy. Joy. Laughter. Laughter. Frustration. Frustrations? Sad. What was that here? Sad. Sad. Excitement. 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 Confusion. Confusion. I'm with you. What was that? Tired. Tired? Gross out. Gross out. Okay. Gross out. Jocularity. Jocularity. I want to party with you. All right, couple more, couple more emotions. Devastation, I don't want to party with you. <laughs> Melancholy. Melancholy, yeah, and you're out too. <laughs> All right, we're good, thank you. So what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna take a uh, suggestion out of each column, and that's what we're gonna base the scene on. Now, how you're gonna know the scene is over and it's time to explode in uproarious laughter and applause it's what we call a swipe edit. So uh, it's just kind of like an etch a sketch going across where you just cleared everything up that was on the stage. We're going to start with something new. So, our, for our first suggestion, we're going to go with fur coats, butter churn, and excited. Fur coats, butter churn, excited. Ah! Oh. Ah! oh, do you like that? Do you like that, honey? I oh. love butter! You look so wonderful. Oh, is that butter? Is oh, that butter tasty, honey. Oh, oh. can I, I have this bit? Yeah. Oh. Get in there. Oh. <laughs> Good play, huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't touch the fur coat. You got butter on my fur coat. Oh. We'll get it to the cleaners. Here, I'll, I'll do this. You take it to the cleaners. I'm not leaving my butter. <laughs> get away from my butter. You take the fur coat. Okay, honey, I'll tend to the butter. <laughs> oh. George! 
finish the prune juice I fixed? Louise, you know I'm always drinking your prune juice. They, it, there's no finishing it, Louise. Yes, we got 15 gallons of that stuff. Yeah, it's like the gift that keeps on giving it. You know. I know you don't like my prune juice, George. You don't have to be nasty about it. You always have to be so nasty about it. You know, before we got married, I used to be able to stand fully erect. <laughs> I'm just sore all the time. It hurts! Well, you should take a load off, George. <laughs> Have another glass of prune, George!
drivers that I was trying to get rid of, and I was looking for a victim. <laughs> Say, uh, can I interest you in some cookie cutters? <laughs> well, sure. We've got Christmas trees, we've got snowmen, we've got reindeer, we've got... Uh, we've got hearts. I've got hearts. I've got valentines. I've got... The whole collection for every season. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Uh, show me the money. I've got it. Teflon coated. <laughs> Stainless <laughs> steel. No, Teflon, Teflon, man. I got the wood collection. Oh, I got the wood. Silicone, <laughs> silicone. Ooh, I got the plastic, it's washable. <laughs> silicone, man. You know you love the silicone. <laughs> from you for the scene and a starting letter and they will start their lines of dialogues with the first letter of the first word starting with that and you know going back and forth so it's a, C, B, yeah, C. A, B, C, D. Yeah. and they're actually going to go through the alphabet twice now if they say something that is not the right letter or they just have the right letter but it really isn't doing anything to the scene um, or they just kind of uh, 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 a too long, yeah, choke. <laughs> then uh, we'll we'll give them a gentle <laughs> and they have to fall out. Whoever did that, and someone else will come in and fill them out. Uh, so, can I get uh, what is your favorite summer pastime? Mountain biking. Mountain biking. Thank you very much. <laughs> and can I get a letter of the alphabet, please? The the U.S. alphabet, the one we all in English. M. Thank you very much. So they see it's mountain biking, and we're going to start with the letter M. Go through twice. Mountain biking is the best sport ever, man. This rocks. This totally is so cool. Man, you love mountain biking. How about we just chill out? <laughs> now, we're going to go up this hill. We're going to go like 15th gear. 15th gear, not 14th. Oh my god, this is too fast for me. I, I can't keep up. People like you not train, should not be on mountain bikes. Quit being so, so mean about it. I just started this year. Really, you're sensitive? <laughs> sensitive, yeah, I'm a sensitive guy. I cry at movies that I like and some of them I don't like. <laughs> Tell your mom when you cry? <laughs> Usually I do, but not always. Your dad will want to hear about that. Very tear-jerking kind of cry. Well, it's more like just a little dribble of tears coming down, but, uh, you know, it's, it's enough. Oh, Xander Dupas! <laughs> Yikes! 
that was scary. So.
silliness and craziness based on suggestions from the audience. Uh, are you all set there? We're set. No, now we're, no. Now we're set. If I say rotate left, the two gentlemen in the front rotate left will see a scene. If I say rotate right, the rotate back will see the same two in a scene, maybe forward in time, backward in time. If I say rotate right again, we'll see yet a new scene either forward in time or backward in time. Hence the revolver. Thank you very much. Uh, so to get all four of these scenes started, we'll get some suggestions for the audience. How about a suggestion of um, an occupation that you might have to wear a uniform for? Policeman. 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 Thank you very much. Policeman. 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 Rotate left. Um, Tell me, Miss Savannah Pearl Rosabella Myers, what's your favorite game? Candy Crush? Candy Crush. Candy Crush. Candy Crush. Candy Crush. Rotate left. Uh, something you might find in your bedroom. Sheets. Sheets. Thank you very much. Sheets. 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 Rotate left. And finally, something that might fall from the sky. Stars. Rain. Rain. Thank, Thank you very much. Rain. <laughs> Rain. Rain. Let's start with you. Rotate left. Policeman. Rotate left. Candy Crush. And rotate left. Sheets. Rotate left. Rain. <laughs> <laughs> Begin. Hey man, true story. When I was little, I used to play dive and raindrops. Really? Yeah. Well, how's that go? I never played it. I would just run outside and just try not to get hit in the rain. Really? How well did I go for you? Not so well. <laughs> I, live I live in a desert myself, so it's pretty easy. <laughs> what? You strap, you run, you run all day, all night, and you never get a drop of rain on you. How about you live and eat some water? Rotate left. All right, here. Have to move along, son. I'm afraid you've uh, been loitering a bit too long. I'm not a vagrant. I didn't say you was vagrant. I said you was a loiterer. <laughs> you, you, you're a smart fella, ain't you? I'm not you're a, a college boy, ain't you? I'm not a lawyer. You've been to S and T, I'll bet you. Rotasity, <laughs> left. <laughs> Snickers.
Happy wasn't such a good idea. game. Uh, Paul, Dirk, and Cornell will be acting out a scene, and Adrian is going to be the director of their movie. Oh, be nice. And yes, <laughs> anytime he wants, he can stop the scene, freeze the action, come out, give them changes that a director would give, and then start the scene up again. And so uh, to start this up, uh, can you, man, can you give me a source or a potential source of conflict? Marriage, thank you very much. So, wow, uh, this, uh, this scene will be based on the suggestion, marriage. Mm-hmm. 
percent, one percent, one and a half percent? The, the one from the cow? Oh, no. This steak is great. You shouldn't wait. <laughs> you want to get milk from a... No, we don't have a cow around here. Cut. All right. I want you to do it like Sylvester Stallone. I want you to do it like um, an old man. And I want you to not have to go to the bathroom anymore. Continue. I can't oh. eat this. <laughs> are going to bring out some clipboards and if you'd like to be on our mailing list emailing list for uh, information about classes if you think you can do what we do better than we do believe me you can uh, you know we have classes if you want information about upcoming shows put your name just go ahead and start it around put your name and the email address your mother's maiden name several of your bank account numbers and your favorite four digit number uh, on there we'll, we'll take you we'll get you taken right up uh, there is a, a board out in the lobby that says, uh, you know, write a line of dialogue on an index card, put it in the bucket. If you would do that sometime during the intermission, that would be wonderful. And we'll be using those lines of dialogue during the second part of the show. And finally, this is America. We're all about crass consumerism, so please go out to the lobby, buy lots of sugary stuff, and enjoy yourselves. And we'll be back in about 10 minutes. Thank you so much. see that most of you came back without us having to lock the doors. <laughs> All right, the, uh, the first thing we're going to do for you here in the second set is a game called First Line, Last Line. And that's for Cornell, uh, John, and Paul. So what we're going to do is we're going to take from the, the, line, the lines of uh, dialogue that you gave us uh, during intermission, and uh, Adrian's going to pick out one for the first line and one for the last line for us to do. Uh, this will be the first line. Um, right turn, Clyde. <laughs> and for the ending line, where, where are the Snickers? <laughs> right turn, Clyde, and where are the Snickers? Right turn Clyde. That's the key line in the movie. And you're making so much noise with your popcorn and your Slurpee. How are you ever going to pass Theater 457 if you can't pay attention to the seminal works of Clint Eastwood? <laughs> Professor Burns, I still think that. The, the food industry in, uh, in movies is so
so important. The slushy is, is a major portion of watching a movie. And it's pretty boring. <laughs> you have to admit, this is one of the most boring movies we've seen sem this semester. So I brought pop. Boring. Clint Eastwood. Stage with us. 
But before we bring our guest on, let's get a topic of discussion that's cutting edge for the 60-minute uh, interview. Um, let's start with a few suggestions. Uh, can someone tell me their favorite medieval weapon? Mace! Thank you very much. Low and slow, but I heard it. Mace. Uh, for our second suggestion, a, um, can I get a dance style from somebody in the audience? A dance style. Gingham style. Gingham style, I heard. So, I'd like to bring in my next guest. Uh, he is a cutting edge choreographer who's developed the gingham style with the mace. Let's bring in our guest and find out a little bit about him. Hi, Mike. <laughs> Peter Wexler, cutting edge choreographer, dance styles that have traveled all over the world. I just have one basic question. Why game style with maces? Well, well Mike, Michael Flaherty took river dance and I got this. <laughs> People consider you a controversial choreographer. You've, uh, you've pushed the envelope on several of your dance pieces in the Netherlands, in London, in most recently in Germany. What about the maces hitting the dancers while they're dancing? How do you deal and contend with that? Well, Mike, the, the maces are real. real. And they hurt. So, so when the, the dancers get hurt, it's real. In your last rehearsal, it was written that you pushed the envelope, made the dancers work past their break time, and the dancer was killed with the mace by another dancer. You're being sued by that young dancer's family. What, what do you say to those folks who have lost their child now because of your mace gingham style dance? Well, Mike, <laughs> the death of that dancer <laughs> was tragic, but also they were doing bad substances on stage. It's been rumored that you were providing those substances in order to overcome the fear of face dancing. Now what do you say to that? Are you using substances that are banned by dancing professionals all over the world? No, no Mike. Those are scurrious accusations. Please <laughs> only provide brownies. <laughs> to our dancers. I spoke to Cy last week on this very show who had created the Game of Style Dance, made him a worldwide public figure. What do you say to Cy that you've appropriated his dance style? No comment. <laughs> Let's, turn, let's change the subject a little bit. Uh, you recently got married. You had triplets. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited. excited. <laughs> are, you, are you allowing your children to watch this style of dance with the blood and the gore and the maces hitting people? Well, well Mike. The, the kids, kids gave, gave me the idea in the first place. <laughs> they haven't missed a rehearsal. Uh, pe 
people are saying in the dance community that this tour is going to be bigger and more popular than Lady Gaga. Has she been any inspiration? Has she given you any advice on this large tour that you're about to undertake? Only, Only when she came out in the, the meat dress. <laughs> the meat dress was very popular. I heard tell that you have a surprise for the costumes for the show. Can you give us any indication what that costume might look like for the upcoming event? Well, well Mike, wouldn't that, that destroy, destroy the surprise? surprise? <laughs> this tour is expected to last two years. Uh, you already working on something else? Do uh, you have any other ideas on what your next choreography act might be? Well, well Mike, I have a children's book in the works. Can you give us an idea what that title might be of this new children's book that's coming out? Yes, Mike. Once upon a time with a mace. <laughs> Best of luck to you and your folks on tour, and I hope everyone stays safe. <laughs> I'm Mike Wallace. Thanks, Mike. Okay, we're going to do sit Stanley. Oh, okay. Yeah. So for this next uh, next game is called sit Stanley. Sit Stanley, and it's going to be really, really simple for you to figure it out because one of the characters at all times must be sitting. One of the characters at all times must be, not, not all times, I'm sorry, Wh whenever they get up, someone else would have to take that seat while someone's standing and leaning. And, and you'll see it unfold here, and, and we're gonna help them every time we see a little slight miscalculation of whether they're sitting, standing, or leaning by giving them a nice little <laughs> So, what we'd like to have is a, uh, a, a suggestion from a member of our audience on, um, the last thing you bought for five dollars, right there. Could you could you give me something that you bought for five dollars? A big Mac. Thank you very much. Big Mac. Thank you. The inspiration for your scene is Big Mac. Welcome to McDonald's. How can I help you? We got everything. <laughs> All right, well, uh, we'll have the, uh, let's get the uh, children's meal, a little girl's children's meal. <laughs> All right, the, uh, the menu. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be uh, $42.87, please. Ever uh, since they got paid $15 an hour, they're trying to charge a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Look here, Chief. Yeah, it's better. No, hey, 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 hey. Hey, I ordered 
Hey! That's my sandwich. No, it's not. <laughs> what is he doing right now? I don't understand. I don't know. Oh! Hey, this is our order here. Thank yeah, you. that's fine. So, <laughs> all right, I'm taking over to McDonald's right now. Everybody, this is it. You. Yeah. You're fired. You. Get back here and start making some Big Macs. Oh, I'm tired. I'm tired too. I'm tired of messing around here at McDonald's with these lazy employees and these people who eat. No. <laughs> I think uh, I think that uh, I'm taking a break. Yeah, it's a good idea. You just you just sit on down there hey, in that puddle of grease. Back there. He's in the puddle of grease. Whoa! Get out of the grease. Not to leave him up. <laughs> you never really worked here, did you? You're just some imposter, right? You're some imposter coming in here, causing trouble for family, hardworking family people who are trying to just get a Big Mac. Now you just sit on down here for a minute there, Son Sonny boy. Let me talk to you. Let me tell you a thing or two. Matter of fact, let me tell you three things. One. Is everything good over there? You need to butt out. One, your friend is behind the counter. That's my daughter. Thank you very much. I just have a deep voice. Oh, so your family can't be your friends. Mm. So that makes number two, you're insensitive. Number three, you're a bully. You're a bully. You gonna take that, Dad? <laughs> I mean, I come in here. All right, let me here. tell you something here. Number one, I am insensitive. Number two, I have a daughter and she is my friend. I'm just going to take a break. <laughs> Don't sit in the frozen fries. Oh, I didn't clean up. And number three, it seems to me that you're the bully around here. And I might have to show you a thing or two. Don't you guys argue? You know, you could clap us out of here any <laughs> Your dad. Your dad. My, yes, I'm listening. <laughs> I'm talking to your daughter. Yes, I see that, and I'm very sensitive to that because I am sensitive, as you said. <laughs> no, you're insensitive, is what I said. No, I'm in this conversation and I'm being sensitive <laughs> to what you're saying. Oh, yeah. All right, for this next uh, next show, uh, next game we're going to do, Paul is going to pull out the board again, the magic board. And uh, we need from you, this is a game called Film and Theater Styles. We need from you suggestions of different Film or theater styles. Horror. Horror. Action. Action. Musical. Drama. Musical biography. Sci-fi. Drama. Noir. Noir. Film noir. Romance comedy. Ro rom ro com. <laughs> rom rom com. Silent. Silent. Silent movie. Horror. Action. Musical. Action. Romance comedy, vaudeville, <laughs> action, action. Uh, we got a double action. Did you, in there. did you get silent? We did get silent. 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 Film noir. Film noir. Musical. Musical. Got it. Documentary. Documentary. What else? Science. 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 Silent. Science. Or science. science. Science fiction. Homework. Okay, science fiction. I got it. Homework. <laughs> Some other improv. improv. Oh, that'll be fun. What else? What was that? Western. 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 Kabuki. I know I heard somebody say kabuki. What else? Fable. What was that? Fable. 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 Tragedy. Tragedy. Two more. 
drama. Okay, we've got drama. Shakespeare. Oh, love it. Thank you. One more. Chick Flick. Thank you very much. Perfect. All right, and so of course we need something for this to be about, and uh, this is going to be for Adrian, Dirk, and Paul. And uh, as they go through this, uh, I will stop them and I will give them different film and theater styles in which to continue their their uh, scene. And so I need a suggestion, you ma'am. Yes, you. Uh, what is the worst birthday present you've ever gotten? Or the worst birthday present you could ever imagine getting? Um, a vacuum cleaner. A vacuum cleaner, thank you very much. So this will be based on the suggestion of a vacuum cleaner. Would you watch it, please, George? Please! <laughs> Billy, get over here and sit down right now. Honey, you, you're, you're, just, you're, just, you're just spreading it around. It's not really picking it up. I am trying to pick it up if people are in the way. <laughs> Daddy, I thought we were going to watch the game today. Well, can you hear the game over this? Can't you make your mom? I can't make your mom do anything. <laughs> It seems to be clogged, George. Look at all this dust everywhere now. <laughs> oh, hey, you found my watch. <laughs> Freeze. Musical. The vacuum is clogged <laughs> and I'm feeling down. My son doesn't listen when I'm not around. There's lots of dust in the air. It makes me sneeze. It's so horrible. <laughs> Make it go away, please. Please sit down and let your mother vacuum for once in her life. Let her vacuum the floor. Freeze. We just want to watch Freeze. the... Silent.
She said a lot, and yet she said nothing. <laughs> it's like the last 17 years of marriage had never really happened. <laughs> when I met him, he was romantic. He brought me yellow roses, not the red ones. <laughs> that all changed after we were married for three years and 46 days and 97 minutes. And, and now the, the romance is gone. How we get the romance back, George? Freeze, action. So my son in out to the sewer to get the wedding ring back. I know you threw it away, honey, but he's gotta be good for something. You're small, you're, you're wiry. Get in that sewer and get that wedding ring. I can do it, Mom. Please let me. He wants to. Here, Go. take this knife. Thanks, Dad. Go. Can you open the manhole? Help me, honey. Freeze, Shakespeare. Alas. <laughs> this manhole cover, it smelleth. <laughs> throw it, father, throw it far, far away, and down to these depths of the trenches I shall go. Out, out, darn spot! Salary <laughs> maid, arise! You've worked well these many years. Perhaps. Perhaps you know where you hail from. <laughs> Get thee to a nunnery. <laughs> alas, alas, I found the magic rock. Freeze, horror. <laughs> it's covered in poo, but I thought you still like it. <laughs> Not on the carpet, George. I'll get the vacuum cleaner. Freeze, Gangnam style. I got the back of the theater. <laughs> and that brings us to the, uh, the oldest game in improv, which is uh, known as freeze tag. And in this, we'll have two improvisers out doing a scene. Uh, at any time, then someone who's not in the scene will shout out, Freeze. Thank you. We'll come in and tap out. Assume the physical position and start an entirely new scene just to find the physical position that he found himself in. So uh, for this, I need a suggestion to start it. And uh, you, sir, could you tell me, hmm, oh, what was it I wanted to hear today? <laughs> oh, yes. What is a, an annoying personal habit? Picking your nose, thank you very much. So this will be based on the suggestion, picking your nose. Hey, I bet your mind's bigger. It's 
like this. And then you do the... No, no, no. You gotta have the... And then the hands cross, and then it's the cowboy. Yeah! The there cowboy. you go. Freeze! George. Freeze. It was a russet. How many shots of tequila was that? I, 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 I think it was. Freeze! It's coming, George! That baby's coming! Freeze! 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 Freeze. Alright, so right in there, that's yeah. the hole. You're gonna get in there, you gotta get into a four point stance. Four point stance, yeah. And then that's the hole you're going for. Right through there. Why didn't I go on with me? I follow you. No. That's the way it goes. I follow no. you. You're the first one through the line, and then I go over your broken, battered body <laughs> to, cut, to score the touchdown. No, no. Um, That's offensive line, quarterback. Offensive line, freeze. Oh, double three. <laughs> Those are so beautiful. I wanted to give you this. Please. You I just want all of us to be together for the rest of our lives. You know, I, um... Uh... Freeze! <laughs> I think it's gonna fit if you just turn it clockwise and insert it carefully, carefully! Freeze! You know, uh... <laughs> I'm gonna have to 
checked with my dad on this. Great! <laughs> that was a reason. The red wire? The red wire. Oh. No, 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 no. The green wire. The green wire. No, 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 no. Oh! I don't care. Oh! <laughs> oh, wait. Let's do the red wire and the green wire. Okay, you do the green wire, I'll do the red wire on three. One. Wait, wait, wait. Is it one, two, three? Or. for you again. So oh. three different people. Oh. Yeah. So uh, who's, who's going to play? <laughs> All right, there we go. And so, uh, wow. Your first line is, what's up, Doc? And your last line is, learning is painful. Knowing is wonderful. <laughs> what's up, Doc? Learning is painful. Yeah, learning is painful. Sir, do you have an extra pen? If you don't have a pen, you get a zero. There you go. Uh. Thanks, non brother. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> non brother. No talking. <clears throat> Can I go to the bathroom? <laughs> Can we use calculators? Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Calculator. <laughs> Can I use a slide rule? Slide. What's a slide rule? <laughs> <laughs> I'm only a month, I'm about to be 23 years old. Look, come on, I'm a grad student. Undergrad, teaching a class. <laughs> you must have had a rough life, mister. <laughs> I thought this was a ballroom class. Look, you gotta learn the basics. Please. 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 Welcome to the ballroom class. I'm your instructor, Jennifer. I've heard that you're Pretty proficient at the tango. Is that true? No. The foxtrot? Very proficient. Very proficient? Yes. Well, then let's just step right through this. <laughs> you can cut in at any time. I, I can't follow the steps. I'm trying to write it down. Do you two not want to dance? Do you not like me? Is that it? No, you're a wonderful instructor. It's just uh, it, you come on a little strong at first. Okay. I was here to take notes. I'm auditing the class. <laughs> okay. Very well. Well, then, let's try another selection, shall we? This is the slow dance. <laughs> take note. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you move so well. Oh, so do you. Wow. I saw so his instructor. I feel like I'm really connecting with you. I'm scared now. <laughs> Are you married? Yes. <laughs> Me too. Who <laughs> oh, needs that phone this? You got any more paper? I've already filled this sheet entirely up. 
Should you take a break? Need some water. Okay, have a seat. I'll just continue. <laughs> and you can you drop us out at any time, John. I need more paper. Hey, brother, you should write this down. Learning is painful. Knowing is wonderful. <laughs> All right, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that's what we've got for you tonight. We are uh, Stop Making Sense Improv. Uh, before we go, we'd like to tell you that we're going to have a show in October, and we'd love to tell you when it is, but we don't know. <laughs> so it's not in October. It's, it's either going to be the middle of October or the end of October. We're, uh, we're waiting on a uh, decision from, the, from the, uh, yeah, the community chicks. Thank you, the, the Chamber of Commerce, the Chamber Chicks. Um, so we will have a show in October. You can find us on Facebook, and uh, we'll have information on the show there, or the uh, Ozark Actors Theater webpage will always have our next show. Uh, we need to say some thank yous tonight. Uh, first, thank you to the Ozark Actors Theater for letting us be the improv troupe in residence. Thank you. And Rich, Richie, did you have something to say? Yes, we are. Thank you very much. September 28th. September 28th, 3 o'clock on the band show. It's always good to have uh, a little help because I have early onset CRS. Uh, okay, can't remember stuff. Um, again, uh, thanks to the Ozark Actors Theater. And we also need to say a very special thank you to the wonderful folks at Ann Flew uh, Dance Movement Studios who have been letting us uh, rehearse over there before we came over here. So uh, 10 thumbs up if any of you ever need any dance movement kind of stuff. And Flu is the place to go to, please. Uh, again, thank you so much for coming tonight. We are Stop Making Sense Improv, and we hope to see you again soon. If you had a good time tonight, tell your friends. If you didn't like the show, don't tell anybody. <laughs> All right, that's, and we're out of here. Thank you.